Sports. It's in the game. EA Sports. It's in the game. Hey, everybody, it's the coach. You're tuned in to Sunday Night Football on EA Sports. Up next, we've got what ought to be a great matchup between the Green Bay Packers and the Kansas City Chiefs. I'll join you again at halftime to look at some of these stats and scores from earlier this afternoon. But for now, it's Sunday Night Football. And on the call... Lurching closer toward the midway point of this NFL season, and we're underway on EA Sports. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So here come the Chiefs for their opening drive. Leading them out is their quarterback, the former 12th overall pick. Some refer to him as the natural, Deshaun Watson. And what a performance in his last game couple of touchdown passes that was positive but more than two interceptions yeah that's not what he's looking for what did Vince Lombardi say though winning isn't everything it's the only thing and that's what he hangs his hat on after last week's game a carry for Devontae Freeman who missed most of last season the numbers for Freeman a week ago 20 carries, 94 yards, and a score. And when I watch them operate, I see a unit that's playing with extreme confidence. Offensive line, tight end, wide receivers. You see a group that wants their number eight rusher in the league end up being in the top five before it's over. On second down, Freeman. And a 42-yard line here and brought down there. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and putting the defense back on its heels. On the heels of that good carry by Devontae Freeman, here's first and ten. Here's Watson. Incomplete. This is Albert Wilson. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. That's what we're used to seeing from him right there. Plays like that, why he's number four in the league in terms of receiving yardage. Able to make adjustments all along the way. Doesn't matter where he lines up, where he releases from. Working his way into the secondary, figures out defenses and finds weak spots in order to get open. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. All right, let's look at the offense. Devontae Freeman, this is a guy that you wanted to talk about, so take it away. Brandon, have you seen a running back play with such joy as well as such fury? I love the way he runs the football and attacks defenses. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. On the draw, this will be Freeman. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high power, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20. Because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points scored gives yourself your, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. And I think so, because then you turn it into a shootout. And that means your offense has to keep pace. Five yards on the catch there brings up second down. We'll take a look at the starters here defensively for the Packers. They played really well in the win over the Raiders a week ago. When I look back at the stats from last week's game, I thought it was a typo. That was a misprint. It's one thing to hold someone under 100 yards in a game. That's phenomenal. Under 50? Absolutely exceptional. On second down, it's Freeman. Five yards on first down, but now just a one-yard pickup there on second. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? From the gun on third, Watson. And the throw there going to be incomplete. The one with the dime look that time on defense just flooded the field with defensive backs, blanketed everyone, took away all the passing angles, thus the incompletion. 
And now here's Mason Crosby, the Packers' all-time leading scorer, but now lining up in a different uniform. From the right hash, it's a 38-yard attempt. Able to move the ball on that drive. Yes, just three points, but four first downs were in there. Yeah, and you can look at it and feel pretty good about the whole thing and think, okay, this should continue throughout this ball game. On the flip side, if you're a defender, it's almost like whew, we only gave up three. They moved the ball on us pretty well. This one fielded at the five. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. So here comes the Packers offense now onto the field. And they'll be led out by their quarterback, the very, very talented Andrew Luck. His game last week reminded me of the old song, Accentuate the Positive. That's about, that's about all he did, right? Yeah. Three touchdown passes, over 300 yards in the air. Receivers happy. If and they got the win. Got the win. If you're a running back that likes to catch passes, they're happy as well. Big time game. So first and 10 now from the 30. Luck now to throw. Oh, he got position on him and he pulls it in. Give him 18 on that play and Green Bay has the first as well. And we see the emphasis early here. Get your star receiver involved, able to do it successfully. Not a bad start to begin with, that's for sure. And to me, this play says, our guy is better than your guy's. Because you know, a player of his stature, he won't just be single covered all game long. It's going to involve multiple people. And right away, they told the other team, guess what? He's just better. Back to back good plays have him on the move on first down. To throw his lock. They'll roll him out right. This one grabbed by A.J. Green. And he's going to get this down near the 20 yard line. 13 yards, first down, Packers. Now a first down throw, Lock. He's got Green. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Now a play fake, and it's locked. Now he's got it. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. And he'll take this one in for a Packer touchdown. James White, his 11th touchdown of the year. And the Packers have taken the lead. And nothing special there. They show they were going to run the football. They ran it. They got it in. Like old-time football, right? Hey, this is exactly what we're going to do. Straight ahead power, and they got it done. Extra point good by Hopkins. And that makes it a 7-3 lead. A drive that time of six plays. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Heading back onto the field, here's a look at Devontae Freeman now. Those are his numbers through roughly the first half of the season, and given that, you'd have to think he's on pace for a 1,000-yard campaign. Steady as he goes, steady goes the offense, but you know what else is happening, too, because they are a team now recognized with the ability to run the football. You've got to be able to throw it better now, right? Better throwing lanes, better opportunities for the guys downfield, maybe more one-on-one -on -one coverage, which you should be able to beat easier. Yeah, he's, st he's establishing not just a tone, but an identity for his team. And that's a discussion we had a couple days ago in the team meetings, talking about this running game opening up the pack. This is caught inside the 15. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Curtis Samuel, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Chiefs are going to jump back in front. They erased that deficit pretty quickly, did they not? A two-play drive. What do we call that? Short-lived? Very. <laughs> Very short-lived. Two plays later, they're in the end zone and back out in front. We always talk about drives, don't we? 
does two plays count as a drive? Not really, but that second play was so good. I don't care what we call it. It was enjoyable to watch. Crosby connects on the extra point, and the lead is now 10-7. to That drive started on their own 25. Two plays, 75 yards later, into the end zone. This is taken at his four. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Let's go. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. Last week, a strong showing up over 100, also two trips to the end zone. It's the kind of week that if you said, listen, I'll let you have this type of a game each and every week, you'd sign up for it. You wouldn't try and get too greedy. But let's face it, good runners always want to be a little bit more greedy at the end, try and squeeze out every last yard. He's going to try and duplicate that and exceed it in this game. Mike, help. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. Give him a couple on the catch in second and eight. And here's the offense now, Charles. Who's the guy you chose to highlight? The tone setter, the guy in the middle, Alex Mack. His return, never good for the opposition. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Second down, they'll run with White. He'll get about four here, down to the 43-yard line. Time to check the defensive starters here for Kansas City. They were terrific last week in the win over Denver. I just consider myself fortunate that I'm not in charge of the offensive line. They gave up <laughs> seven sacks last week. And if things don't improve in this game, the head coach isn't going to be looking at the offensive line. It's going to be looking at the offensive line coach. And that's when things get dicey. Now on third down, an extra DB out there for the Chiefs. A shotgun snap for Love. He'll get this one to Switzer. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. Good defense holds him to only a yard, and it'll be fourth down. Well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game. But it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. You got to go up and make the tackle right away. And this is good. He got just enough to clear the crossbar as he drops it in from long distance. And that will knot us up at 10. These kickers now, it's like we take them for granted. Kicks like that used to be such a big deal, and now you just expect them to make it. Yeah, you're exactly right, and we shouldn't take them for granted, but I have a theory about it. You want to hear? Yep. They are more athletic now than ever before. Talk about kickers. Trace their backgrounds, trace their histories. You'll find that they were big-time athletes all Let's along, go. but their Let's kicking go. was so prevalent that we made them specialists. Yeah, and now those 50-plus yarders seem easy for some reason. And now here comes Kansas City. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they were hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. These two teams all tied after one. Here's second and seven now from the 28. On the counter, Devontae Freeman. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. An 11-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Chiefs first down. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of their yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Here's Watson. Blitz coming and down. 
down he goes. Trey Boston shot through on the safety blitz for the sack. Hindsight is 2020, partner. Maybe they should have kept it on the ground again. Well, it almost looked like the O-line was run blocking again. I mean, they opened up a big hole last time. This time they opened up a hole, and the quarterback got sacked. Now, following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. And he'll get this up only to about the 33. Brandon, we talk all the time about those hybrid players, guys who can do more than one thing. And I think if you're playing strong safety in the NFL today, you are a true hybrid. Part linebacker, part cover guy. And coming up, sticking his nose in the mess there and making a nice play defensively. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 48. He had a little bit of the turnover bug last week. Three interceptions. Not an absolute disaster, but another one here. Do you start to get a little worried? You worry about your team as a whole because you have to find a way to make those interceptions quote-unquote go away, and that means your defense. They've got to go out there on sudden change and at least hold people to field goals. And if that keeps happening, they lose confidence in the quarterback, and then no one plays well. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 17 yards on the catch and run. It's a first down. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. Flushed out right. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Marshawn Lattimore. Pass the 10 to the 11-yard line, and that's where the return stops. I think that interception happened for two reasons. Quarterback gets outside the pocket and panics a little bit, and receiver doesn't make sure he's absolutely in an open spot. So there's a guy lurking, took the ball from him. Yeah, so don't wave your arms, right, as a receiver if you're not wide open. Got to know that you're open. Otherwise, just don't do it. And they finally get him, but not before he reaches the 33-yard line. An outstanding pickup there for the Chiefs, 55 yards. I can still hear it reverberate through this thick skull of mine. Crossing routes versus man-to-man -man coverage, it's a bad matchup for the defense. Those tend to work very well as they run away from a defender. This is Freeman on first and 10. Tackle made by Antoine Bethay. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. From the 29, Watson looking for the end zone. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked up by the newest Chief, Tyron Matthew. And nothing there on the return. They've got the football, but they'll have to start this drive at their own four-yard line. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they've thrown an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. On second down now, it's White, and he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. They'll try to pick this up on the ground with White, and he will have the first down as he's up to his 17-yard line. Well, after an interception, last thing you want to do is go three and out, give the ball right back. They avoided that. Yeah, you definitely do not want to do that. I remember in college, I played with a really big-time player on defense. We ended up getting an interception as we passed the offense coming out. He told him, if you don't take care of this football, you have to answer to me later. You definitely want to take care of it, pick up first downs. Give him 19 there as the drive marches forward. Slant route's effective no matter who's running the route and catching the ball. But when you have a receiver of that stature, you have to be a little bit more precise throwing it. You don't have the same catch radius with the bigger targets. There's a throw over the middle. It's taken in by his tight end. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Here's White. That 
that play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sit through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. They run it here with Thompson. And he's got a first down as he's up to the 48. It's a first down following a gain of three. That's quite a spot there for his first carry of the game, but obviously they had plenty of faith in him, didn't they? No question about it. And here, why not go with the fresh legs? Able to push forward, pick up that first. Here's Love. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked out and incomplete. Eric Rowe that time able to knock that pass away. Something we haven't really seen much of from him, an incomplete pass. Yeah, last week he finished at 70%. This week he's up over 80%. I don't know how you slow him down. Pass rush is usually the best way because a quarterback on his back usually can't complete a pass. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs 33. On first down, Lock. This will be caught by Brown. And he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. On second down, it's White. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. Coming up in a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. The coach will have stats and scores from earlier today in the NFL. Here's Wright. Now Wright lost the football. Wow. That ball is not free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys like that. After reviewing the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So the challenge comes in inside of two minutes, and it gets overturned. And it changes the whole format of what's about to happen because both sides had thought a certain call had been made. Now they have to flip back and start over. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Long toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Well, nearly another interception there. That would have been two drives in a row with a pick. He's got to start taking care of the ball way better than what we're saying. Interestingly, that throw was probably worse than the one he threw the interception on last drive, but fell incomplete. So it's third and goal now, and this is where the Arrowhead crowd can make it very tough. Here's Locke. The quick slant caught. And he's going to be taken down here still a couple yards short of the first. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. And Hopkins' kick is good. And they will take the lead at 13 to 10. So you're a boxing guy. How do you score that on your boxing card? A very long drive, but three points. And I really want to do my boxing analyst voice right here, but I'm going to keep it normal for us, right? I call it a draw. That type of a drive has to feel good, right? You take it all the way downfield, you control the ball, control the clock. But they only got three points out of it. So defensively, it could have been worse, right? So I give it a draw. And back onto the field now comes Devontae Freeman. He's been good. They've utilized him well, but they're losing here in the second quarter. What might they change offensively? I think that what you try and do is expand how you get the ball to him a little bit. Get him out in open space, maybe swing the ball to him. What's that they used to call in the West Coast offense, the long handoff? Yeah. Serve as your running play that way, as well as continue to feed him the football. Some of these runs now may pop bigger later in the game because of the effects of running it. Sometimes people after a while, they don't want to tackle him anymore. Or they get tired, or they get out of position, or he runs through tackles. Continue to feed him the ball. He's having that kind of game. Yeah, might they get him the ball in some space in some different ways here. Watson now closing in on a 200-yard first half through the air. It's first and 10. Gets it off to Freeman. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. Give him 15 yards on that one. Kansas City has a first down. That was signal in a timeout call. As it comes with nine seconds to go in this first half of play. So 
So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. He connected on his first. This time it's 39 yards away. And the 12-year veteran knocks it right through. And that will knock things up here late in the first half. So they're able to make things level just before half and also leave very, very little time on the clock. And I love the way that you phrased that. Brought a little soccer into it. And that's really apropos considering they just kicked a field goal to tie things up. All square now at 13 all as he sends this one away. This fielded at the two. So we come upon halftime with a tie score, 13 all. As we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome in, everyone, to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Let's get you caught up on what... Halftime update after all. Seems like everyone's ready to go here for the second half in Week 8 in the NFL. That'll be taken in the end zone. And all that work, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he's simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. They have a chance to break our tie here as we get a look at the first drive of quarter three. And it's such a tone setter, isn't it? Because both sides trying to seize momentum to begin the half. What do they have dialed up that'll give them an advantage to move the ball downfield? Let's find out what they have dialed up. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. It's the former Patriot, Devin McCourty. And they'll set up shop right near midfield at the 49-yard line. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out on... And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Curtis Samuel, his second touchdown of the night as his guys are able to regain the lead. I know we often laugh and sometimes we even exalt the guys who are great trash talkers and give us some really funny lines. But the bottom line is absolute production on the field. His second touchdown of the game and they lead. And now they'll be looking to their defense to preserve that lead. Crosby with the extra point and they will take a seven point lead. And we can break that scoring drive down pretty easily. One play, the long touchdown pass into the end zone. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. They trail 20 to 13 our score as they have it first and 10. They'll start the drive with a give to White. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Opting to run again here with White. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Couple of very nice carries to start this drive out. Yeah, two first downs. And how about that second one? What a nice run on that particular play. I'm telling you, they're going to start to think that this game is easy if they continue to rip off yardage like this. A loss of two there, second down. Anytime you call an inside running play, you just know there should be a lot of congestion there. You're counting on your offensive line to take control of the line of scrimmage. That didn't happen in this case, and that play got bottled up. They'll try the air now with Locke, rolling to his right. And Locke will be intercepted for a third time. Joe Hayden, the veteran with a pick. And his guys are going to take over at their own 48-yard line. Well, I get what he was trying to do. He was moving to his right and trying to shift the coverage. But instead, he shifted the coverage also to the right and threw right into it for an interception. Watson going to pull back the handoff and keep it himself. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Give him 13 yards there and a Kansas City first down. 
that was a nicely run slant route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Throwing on second and eight. Watch it. And this is going to be caught. He won the fight for the football. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 24-yard line. And he's certainly been a huge factor in this when he's got the two touchdowns to his credit. Now they look to him again. He picks up the first. Yeah, I can hear everyone saying, well, why don't you cover him, double him, trip him, do what you have to do. But sometimes they get locked into such a groove and such a connection, it doesn't matter how many guys are in his area. He certainly looks to be in that groove right now. Second and 12 after the first down pass play went backwards for two yards. Now Watson complete. Hunter Henry with the grab. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. Yeah, now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to Arrowhead. Come on. On third down, Devontae Freeman. And he picks up the first as he's able to take it down to the seven-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Now, this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack, and guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. They'll run here with Freeman. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Give him two yards on that one. Second and goal now. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. Now it's Watson, and he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown from six yards away. And the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. A good sustained drive there in this third quarter, capping it off with a touchdown to give them a nice two-score advantage. It was actually a fun one to watch, wasn't it? I mean, for me, seeing the mix of what they did, how they moved the ball downfield, very sharp, too. Each and every play seemed to be executed with great dispatch. Extra point up and good by Crosby. And the lead now up to 14. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. Add one, tell me one. Antonio Brown, kiss him goodbye. Touchdown, Packers. Antonio Brown. His second touchdown on the season as his guys are back within a single score. Not a whole lot to recap on that drive. Just one play, 75 yards to the house. Yeah, it's a long way to go. And remember, rarely is it a straight line 75 yards, too. Got to have a little extra in there. So whatever the final number is, a well-deserved seat on the bench, a little oxygen if he wants it as well. One of the shortest drives you'll ever see. One play, 75 yards, six points. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. So here are the Chiefs to take over. They're on a three-game winning streak, and right now looking good in this one as well. The drive will start with a carry by Devontae Freeman. The tackle was made by Michael Bennett. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Throwing on second and eight. Watson, and that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. 
to throw is Watson. And that is incomplete. And sensing the momentum may be changing here a little bit, Charles. Yeah, this defense is going to get off the field quickly, and their offense got them a touchdown the last time they had the ball, so they should get another shot. And this will be up to the ruling of the side judge here. He says it crossed out of bounds at the 16-yard line. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. And last time, the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. That Maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up, whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook. One play drive is exactly what you want on offense. What they have to be careful of is not having a letdown. It was really easy last time. They can't expect that going forward. And we'll see if it's that easy here. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Back to throw. Lock. Got him in. It's Brown. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. 22 yards there. A first down. A good grab there by the former Central Michigan man, Antonio Brown. And he ate up some real estate on the catch, too, didn't he? I think the most impressive part of it, though, if there's a chance for him to get the football, even though he was covered well, he somehow finds a way to get it. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. Luck now, six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and 10. Throwing his lock. Open man is Switzer complete. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. 11 yards and a Green Bay Packer first down. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone or... Better against man because now you're running away from someone and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. 13 yards, first down Packers. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. From the red zone now, Locke. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. To the air again, Locke. Green brings it in. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. And they'll get nine there as that sets them up better for third down. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. On third down, a run from White. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, Packers. James White. His second touchdown of the game, giving him 12 on the season. As they are an extra point away now from tying this football game. He's having a nice little game. Maybe already has an eye on that third touchdown. And how about what our producer, Christian McLeod, likes to say when they score touchdowns like this? He's put a tent up in touchdown city. Hopkins with the extra point, and we are tied at 27 all. Boy, hard to ask for a better game thus far. 27 apiece is our score as the kick's away. This will be taken in at the one. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now with the game this close, you've got it. And that's caught inside the 35. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. DK Metcalf, his second touchdown on the season as his guys have now moved out in front. 
Well, that's a heck of a response to regain the lead after we had seen the touchdown to tie the game. I would say what we just saw there was a great amount of poise because typically when teams tie the game up, it's a little bit of a, how would you say, you kind of kind of take a step back and have to get yourself regrouped. They regrouped in a hurry, didn't they? They attacked back after they'd been tied. And in a big way, that was a statement long touchdown. Crosby connects on the extra point, and they will take a seven-point lead. Now let's discuss Antonio Brown as he heads back out there now. And now he's inching closer to a 200-yard game. He's been so solid. And he's really denting the pride of the guys playing defense, too, because there are certain barriers that you just don't want to give up. Never want to give up a 100-yard rusher, a 100-yard receiver. He's closing in on 200 yards. Wow, that's a really big game. And the first play of the drive there is incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Now Luck completes it to Jason Witten. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Give him 10 there. Good enough for a Packer first down. You can just kind of sense the momentum turning here. It's first and 10. Luck now to throw. Oh, a battle for it here, and this will be caught. 25 yards that time. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Throwing again is Lock. And that's complete. It's green here. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. A gain of six there on first. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. The second down attempt there knocked down as it leaves the quarterback's hand, and it's incomplete. Marshawn Lattimore right there on the coverage. He was draped all over it. They don't get the hook up there, but you really have to marvel at how precise he's been throwing the football these last couple of weeks. Oh, that's a perfect word for it, precise, because if you're at 70% or better, two weeks in a row, you have a job as long as you want one in this league, won't you? I mean, let's face it's not just West Coast offense either. He's putting the ball downfield as well. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. Complete to Jason Witten. And he's able to pick up the first before he's taken down at the 27. Well, they deemed it four down territory, and they got four yards to pick up the first. Luck on first down. That is caught right at the 10-yard line. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. A good-looking drive for the Packers so far. It's a first down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. I'm going to keep firing. Forced out to his left. Touchdown, Packers! Jacob Hollister. His first touchdown on the year. As they can now even this game here in the fourth quarter with the extra point. Sometimes those tight ends are a mismatch. They found the mismatch there. And that's exactly why you want to drop those types of plays because coverage is just going to go to the natural guys, the guys that make the big plays on the outside. But if you work your tight end into it, that's a tough one for a defense to handle. Tough, they couldn't handle it. It worked out for six. So here comes the kickoff now, all even here in this fourth quarter. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Curtis Samuel and the rest of the offense that, heading back out there now. When you're in a zone like he is, what's the conversation like on the sideline between he and his quarterback? Is that a one-way conversation of, hey, just keep getting me the football? It actually is probably a two-way conversation because he wants to keep getting him the football because he's seeing the payoff. 
Yeah, getting the ball to that guy means yardage, and as we've seen, touchdowns in this game. So I think both of them get more and more excited about the possibilities as things continue on. Yeah, so far it's been over 100 yards and the two scores. Well, we had a number of good games in the afternoon sessions, but this Sunday nighter might top them all. We come up here on first and 10. On first down, nothing opening up really on the running play. Give him maybe a yard, and it'll be second down. Freeman again. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. First down for the Chiefs. Solid chunk of yardage, 17 on the play. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. Faking the give. Now Watson. And a completion to Wilson. And down inside the 15 he goes. First down for the Chiefs. Solid chunk of yardage. 17 on the play. From the red zone now, Watson. They'll set up the screen for Freeman. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Devontae Freeman hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season. And they're able to break the tie and move out in front here in this fourth quarter. There are several elements to a well-executed screen pass. This one resulted in a touchdown. It had all of those elements. Yeah, you're so right because you really need the rush to almost get to the quarterback, almost get to the passer. Then you've got to get the ball thrown perfectly, whether it's to the running back, the wide receiver, whoever the screen guy is. And, of course, the blocking has to form in front to get him downfield for the touchdown. And he'll return this one all the way onto the other side of the field. And when you're facing a deficit on the scoreboard, you're just looking for something to get you right back into the game, and that's the spark that they were looking for. They got it with that big return. They'll fake the handoff. Now Luck. And this is caught by Winton, the tight end. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Give him 10 there, good enough for a Packer first down. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Out of the gun, Lock. He'll get this one to Switzer. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Now a pass dropped off here for James White. Four yards, the pickup, first down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. A good pickup there, 21 yards. A looming decision to make on the conversion, down seven. But first things first, they need to score as they come up on first and goal. They're able to get a couple here, but won't get across the plane as they stop him right around the one. Second and goal from the one. First carry for the converted wideout, J.D. McKissick. And a second effort gets him in. Touchdown, Packers. J.D. McKissick, his second touchdown on the season. As they can now even this game here in the fourth quarter with the extra point. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And, partner, we've got a tie game here in the fourth. Set to go now with the kickoff. These two teams all even again as we continue in this wild fourth quarter. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. 
And now here comes Kansas City. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. And now it's first and 10. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. After the penalty, here's Freeman. And this will be taken across midfield and into Green Bay territory. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Watson going to pull back the handoff and keep it himself. Open man is Samuel, complete. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. Now those linemen, of course, can't be more than a yard downfield when a pass is thrown, and they might have been able to call that on a couple of guys there. Another carry for the workhorse tonight, Freeman. Only a yard of the pickup there, so it leaves him needing a conversion here on third and a tough nine. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Gets it off to Freeman. Call it a one-yard gain on the play, and it'll be fourth down. Partner, I think that completion takes the definition of dink and dunk to a different level, doesn't it? It does, and the defense was right there, kind of played into their hands. And they won't risk defending a return here. That one's out of bounds, and it'll be spotted spotted at the 14-yard line. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. The last possession, these guys were able to tie the game with a touchdown, and now they'll have a chance to move out in front. Yeah, let's give a big assist to the defense. who got the ball back. The special teams went out there, handled things. They've got it. They've got momentum. I know they're eager to get out there and put it on display. Throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. It is tough to complete pass against zone defenses. The windows that you see open, they shrink pretty rapidly. How about being able to hit a moving target against a zone before the next guy can get there and make a play on the ball? Not easy for any quarterback, no matter the situation. And there, the defense won the battle. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Play action. It's locked. He's got green. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. All tied up, less than two minutes to go. So it's Packer football here as we welcome you back. They've got it first and 10 as they search for a go-ahead score. Luck. Finding Green complete. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 14 yards, good for a Packer first down. That gets them the first down, but they've still got to move quickly here. Luck now to throw. And he couldn't hang on. Would have been their fourth pick of the game. Instead, second down. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Now Luck. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Third and long coming up defensively. You pressure the quarterback or drape all over the passing lane? Yes, that's exactly what you do. It's both because they're not mutually exclusive. They may have been at one time in football, but not anymore. You want to have that pressure. If you have a big-time pass rusher, send him after the quarterback and then make sure you blanket the field. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs 43. Pardon, you got to like what they're doing right there. Little by little, they're getting closer. Another good pickup. First down, here's White. He finds some open field here. And finally out 
of bounds all the way down at about the two. A big hitter. That one goes for 40 yards. Probably had 60,000 thinking pass right there, including us in the booth. Yeah, no doubt about it. That was a big call, big guts on that one. And guess what? That run, it'll pay dividends. A game-winning field goal would be a chip shot from here. Let's see how they play it on first and goal. And they will take a knee and set up what would be a potential game-winning field goal try. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in the fourth. And they take a knee. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in the fourth. But they need to reverse the trend. The last two plays have gone backwards. Now it's third and goal. Going on the ground, it's White. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Green Bay touchdown. James White in the final minute. And they have taken the lead here in the final minute. I don't know how many more of these my heart can take, my man. I just don't know. Another big touchdown late in the game. They look like they're in control. But still, there's a chance. Block the extra point, go down and score, kick the extra point themselves. They can pull this one out. Yeah, but also on the sideline that just took the lead, you got to get your defense ready and the special teams unit for the kickoff coming up. Yeah, you're exactly right. Got to pull everyone together and make sure they're still focused and aren't already celebrating a win. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And with time of factor here late, he'll just take a knee and they'll start things out at the 25. So Deshaun Watson in the offense, down by seven, 44 seconds to go. They've won three in a row, but they've got work to do if they want to get a fourth in a row as they come up on first down. Back to throw. He's got Freeman here. It's complete. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Watson trying to get his guys moving. He'll look to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Freeman. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they get it with 16 seconds remaining on the clock. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. Now a desperation throw deep downfield and nearly intercepted there. That would have been ball game if he had clinched it and caught it. Instead, it gives him one more chance here on fourth down. Down seven, and they've got to go for it here on fourth down. They will indeed snap it to Watson. He's going to let it fly. And this will be incomplete. One second left to go. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Packers are going to get the football back in excellent field position. Down to a knee goes Jones, and that should just about seal it. They said their goal was to win seven games. They've done that pretty early in the year. I think it's time for them to elevate that number and really make a big push to finish this season strong. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn. And this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. With that, we say good night from Kansas City.